Hello everyone, this is Anthony. And for this game, it is Art of War. In this game, my name is Grand Wizard. But the main part of this video is how to make your base a normal base, but a super farm at the same time. The main thing that you need to do is that you need to make sure that you have mostly all resources. Um, you only need one hospital. For some reason, someone made some kind of claim that you need as many hospitals as you have troops, but actually that's a lie. Um, you only actually only need one hospital, actually, and that's what I have. And that's the only thing that you really need to think about. If you look over here, hopefully, all right, there we go. Um, that I have pretty much all resources. There's one hospital right there. It's listed right there. That's one hospital. And mostly everything else I have is all resources and maybe two military tents. I think I have three, actually. Yeah, three. But, uh, yeah, I mean, to be able to make your base a super farm, you know, you really don't need to spend money. You can if you like. But you just need to make sure that, like, in your technology, I'm level 20, or 21, actually. You just need to make sure that when you go into, like, resources, come down, we have nuclear power plant, number two. You know, I have 16%. That's your main thing that you want to go for is resources. For a game like this, it's great to have lots of troops. Things like that. If you're good, you're always going to have less troops and less power than everyone. But the good thing is you're going to be able to upgrade more resources plus more buildings than most people. So you'll have a true power. So that's only the great thing about that kind of situation. If I go to this one, um, let's see. Let's look at our skill points. Your skill points divide you on what kind of what, what are you actually doing. For me, I have 92. Most of them are in development. Take a look right here. I'm not too worried about this one, this food gathering one. I'd rather save that. But you want to go down, get that food, go down to electricity, and then like that. And when you come to this, you will want to actually have all your resources in all of these ones. These food electricity number two. And also your alloy, definitely. And if you go any farther down, the best one to choose, I would say would be alloy number two for a gathering. Because alloy takes the longest and that's something that you definitely need and it's the one to do first. And then after that, after I get number 20, I'll probably go to electricity and then probably food last because I actually do make a lot of food. I don't really need food too much for myself. But for this one, you know, I have only my level 20. I'm at, you know, 500,000 power. Now, there are a lot of people that have a million power, but see, they have a million troops. For myself, I do. I have just the minimum. I have what I can actually march which is 53,100. So it's kind of like you need to base, you have to actually be smart and know how much you can actually spend. That's pretty much the whole part of the game. I mean, when you're early on in the game, having 100,000 troops or even more is your choice. But, you know, if you have all your skill points in war, you're going to be that guy that the only way that you're going to get resources is that if you plunder other people. And that's screwing with other people's alliances. Now, you can do that. That's fine. But if you're looking for the peaceful way to go, you can always, like, I right now I'm in the, let's see. Oh, we're number one actually right now. So yeah, I mean, I mean, the, the the best thing that I have for myself is that I can help anyone. I can help anyone. I mean, I can be attacked a 
thousand times and big whoop it ain't gonna do shit for me because I can just help people you know I'm a I'm a I'm a base I'm a military base but I'm also a farm at the same time I don't need another account I don't have to worry about nothing and that's kind of like something that you need to think about you, I mean you can always change your base however you please but you have to take in mind is what are you looking for are you a person that's just wants to do war all the time or are you a person that's ready for support and I'm a person that will I will support myself but if someone private messages me saying that they need help then they will be helped and that's kind of like the simple part of this game I mean it's it's game politics it's not real politics I turn this off and I go back to my normal life but you know it's just uh, it's a way to work and it's a way to actually gang up to that um, if we actually go to here if you actually did all your skill points in that and you did all your researching in that uh, like that that little region of uh, for gaining resources you would actually gain yourself a lot of production level if I can hit that there we go oh Ooh. it's not working for me all right there we go oh let's try that again Ooh, what is happening okay so if we go down my light electricity income is 181 food income is 196 which is very good um, all of the incomes are great and you know they almost triple that you have boost for that for the for a whole day that's always great but this is the easiest way that you can actually get to level 30. I mean you can have a huge army plunder lots of resources but the thing is is that then you have lots of enemies. If you want to make less enemies then you do it this way but it's a safe way but see you don't really need to worry about losing all there are a lot of people that will lose 600,000 troops and your alliance will fall because of that power size that they've lost. For me, if someone killed all my troops, I'd lose maybe 100,000 power. Big whoop. I'm not like going to bring us down into like third or fourth place with that. Most of my power is real power. And that's what you want. You want more real power. And in this game, real power is pretty hard to get. But if you have the time, you can get there but yeah this is just a little video and my little intro on how to actually became, make your base a mega farm and how you can help everyone and help yourself without spending money and you guys have a great one i'll catch you guys next time